My name is Sol and I'm part of the team here at MyWorks. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through a demo of our MyWorks WooCommerce multi-location inventory and order routing solution. Now, there are many different ways to use this solution, but essentially it's been created for WooCommerce stores or store owners who have products available at multiple different locations or distribution centers. This is especially popular for stores who are global and they might have a warehouse in one country and another, or you may have various warehouses within one country and you need a way to automatically route orders to the correct location. And that's exactly what this does, among other things. So a few of the options that it will add to your WooCommerce store are the ability to track your inventory across multiple locations, to change your pricing for different locations and to automatically route orders to the correct location based on your own personal order routing priorities. Now it's very flexible. There are many different ways to use it. Um, we have many different types of users as well and we've used many, we've seen many use cases, but I'm going to be walking you through a few of the most popular options today, but please keep in mind that we are always happy to talk to you directly on a demo call. We can go through your exact use case and then we can talk about how the solution will help save you time and solve your um, management issues as well. So let's start by taking a look at our sample demo site. It is a very bare site, but we have just put a few things here together for you to see a few of the settings in, in action. Now, the first thing I want to mention is that you can decide what kind of workflow you want your customers to go through. So you might want orders to be automatically routed to the correct warehouse without ever requiring any extra steps or any work from your customer. But other users we've seen actually want their customers to have more control over this process. So while you could automatically route an order for a customer, you could also allow them to pick the location that they want to order from. So for doing automatic order routing, the way this works up, out is we set up different shipping zones or areas for our warehouses if we'd like to, or else we can just make them all available to all areas. But then we can automatically route an order to the location that's closest to the warehouse or to the warehouse that has the most inventory in stock. And this would be the automatic order routing. But we can also allow your customer to pick. So in this demo, we have an example of the short code option where we can allow your customer to actually pick from the locations that they want to order from. And then based on the location that they pick, we can just show them only the products that are available to them. Now, this is recommendable for stores who have very big differences between their products sold at each warehouse. So maybe you have a specific type of product in one country, but in a different country, your products are completely different. In this case, it would make sense for you to have your customer pick the location. Or if you don't want them to have to pick, we can actually just geolocate them based on their IP address and show them only the locations available to them. So this can be as flexible or customizable as you'd like. So now I'm going to go in and show you one of the t-shirts, one of our t-shirt demo products. In this case, what you see is we've created the option for the customer to pick the location that they want to order from. So they would right now see that this t-shirt is available in the Canada location and in the United States location. And they could pick from those two and add to the cart. But again, this is optional. If you don't want your customer to have to pick and see that you have different warehouses, then we'll just see where they are, assign them to a location. And then once they go to check out, we can also double check their shipping address and make sure that their order has been routed to the correct location. And otherwise we make any adjustments as needed. And once that order has been routed, then we also automatically adjust the inventory quantities. So if you had uh, 10 t-shirts in stock in the US and then you sold this product and it's going to be fulfilled from the US, then that inventory quantity will go down to nine as an example. Now let me show you a bit of the back end here. Let's go to edit our product and you'll be able to see where we can manage the inventory, default locations and pricing for each product. Now it is all very closely tied into your WooCommerce. So that's something that you're going to like, what most of our users like. So this is a simple product. So if we were to edit the inventory, we would go to the inventory tab in WooCommerce. And here's what you're going to see. It's similar but different to what you normally see in WooCommerce. 
Normally, WooCommerce just gives you one total stock quantity field. So you just see this, 17 in total. But once you install the MyWorks multi-location solution, then you're going to see a field for each one of your warehouses. In this demo, we have Canada and the US. So you can see that we can enter that we have seven t-shirts in stock in Canada and 10 in the United States. And those are added up and they give us our total stock quantity, which is shown here. And now you can show the stock quantities on the product front end if you'd like, or you can hide them. It's really up to you how much, pro how much information you show to your customers. Now, another thing you can do is you can set a default location. If you set a default location for a product, then all orders for that product would be automatically routed to this default location unless the product was out of stock at the default location. Then the product would be routed based on your priorities, which we're going to look at in a little bit. And another thing that we could do here is we could change the price for each product at each warehouse. So that's just an option that you have available to you. Now let's go on and show you the WooCommerce orders page. Now, as usual, this is going to be where your orders come in, but there's going to be one thing that's a little bit different. So I want you to see this. Here, you're going to see that we add a location column. Under this column, you can see the location that each order has been assigned to. For example, this most recent one was assigned to the United States, while the second order by Jenna Smith was routed to the Canada location. So it's always very easy for you to see at a glance what location each order has been assigned to. And you can always click to change it if you need to. And you could also change the location assigned at the product level inside of the order. So let me show you an example of that. We'll go into Jenna Smith's order and we can see the t-shirt is being fulfilled from Canada and the watch from the United States, but we could always change this. And one thing that's nice here is when you see within this drop down, you're also going to be the, see the inventory quantities available for that product at each location. And you'll also see that the changes are also noted here in your order notes. So you have kind of more information and tracking there. Now back over to the orders page, you're going to see that we can also filter by location or warehouse. Now this could be great for you as the main store manager to see the orders by location, but it can also be especially useful if you have different store managers for each location. Because what we can actually do is we can assign each user to a specific location so that they can log into the WooCommerce orders dashboard and see only the locations assigned to them. Very, very nice and helpful and just many different features that are there available to make things easier for you at the store management level as well. We can also assign the warehouse to the user or to the store administrator so that they, when they come in and edit the product details, they can edit the details or the inventory or pricing only for the product that they have been assigned to or that they have access to. Now, aside from that, aside from the option to manually edit your products, you can also import data through a CSV file as usual or through the WooCommerce API. We are compatible with the WooCommerce API and we can map location IDs. So on a data management end, this is also very easy to use and very flexible. Now that I've shown you kind of an overview of the options that your customers will have and your store management options as well, I'm going to take you into our actual plugin backend where you're able to manage the solution all within your WordPress admin. And you'll see a few of the options that you have here. Now in this demo, again, we have our two locations, Canada and the United States, and we have two places where we can manage this solution. So first we can make changes, configure options for each location as well as the global settings. Now I'm just gonna give you a little bit of an overview on this because we will work closely with you when you do sign up. We'd be on a screen share, just kind of like this one, you'd be with one of our setup specialists and they'd be asking you questions about how you want your store to work and they would help you configure everything. But for now, for this demo, I just want to show you how customizable and flexible this solution is because really everyone has different needs and we have really covered just about every use case. So it's exciting to see how many settings we have. Now, starting with your global settings, 
One of my favorite settings here, if we scroll to the bottom, is the order routing rules. Now this is kind of cool. You can actually move these rules around and set them in an order of priority. Now the options are location with the most inventory, closest warehouse to the order shipping address, and the default warehouse. Now the most popular one is usually the closest warehouse to the order shipping address. So if you set this to your first priority, then what will happen is if a customer places as an order and a product to their cart, then that order would be automatically routed to the location that's closest to them. Now this reduces the shipping fees for them, which is great. And it also just can reduce your shipping time and turnaround time and overall a better experience for all parties involved. But another option would be to automatically route the order to the location with the most inventory. So of course everyone's different and that's why we have all of these options to customize it. Another option we have is to define delivery areas for each one of your warehouses. So maybe one of your warehouses only ships to the east side of your country and the other warehouse only ships to the west side of the country. Then you could define your delivery areas in many, any of these different ways. Or if you also had different warehouses in each city, um, we've seen this be kind of popular for users who have different restaurants in different cities. They can also um, define their delivery areas by postcode or maybe yours are by state or by continent or subcontinent. There are just so many different ways to set your de delivery areas, but for this demo, we have set it to country. So now to complement these delivery areas settings, then you would go into your individual location and then you would configure your individual delivery zones and options for each location. Let me walk you through those. Scroll all the way to the delivery zones first. So here you can see, the different options we have are to say, this warehouse serves to all countries, all countries except for, or only specific countries. If we set it to specific countries, then we'll say, all right, this warehouse is able to ship to these three different countries. So if someone is within these three different countries, their order can be routed to them. And now if there's an overlap between your shipping zones and someone's in an area where they could actually, they're inside of two different shipping zones, then we'll route the order to the location that's closest to them or the location with the most inventory based on your preferences. And you have a few more options here at the location level. You can limit user roles. So say one of your warehouses is only for wholesale customers, then only wholesale customers can order from there. You can also exclude payment gateways. This is especially useful for our global users who have different companies and entities set up in different countries and they just need to use different payment gateways and send payments to different bank accounts. Then this way, you're able to control the payment methods that are available or the payment gateways available to the customer based on the location that their order has been routed to. And then we can also exclude shipping methods. This is also an important one because you have certain shipping methods in one country or in one zone and other shipping methods in others. So here we're able to ensure that when an order is assigned to a location, your customer will only be able to pick from the shipping methods available to them. Now we have a few other options like adding individual low stock or out of stock thresholds. But here's another really important one. You can set an email address for each warehouse. And what this means is that as soon as an order is assigned to a warehouse, then this email address will be notified. You can also even customize the new order email reply to email address. So if you notify, you know, you, you send someone their, their order confirmation, you can make it so that when they reply, their reply would go specifically to the warehouse instead of the overall WooCommerce um, admin email address. So I know it's, it's a lot of settings. I don't want to overwhelm you, but I just want to show you how customizable this is. Now we can also enter an address for each warehouse, and this address is what would be used when we calculate your shipping fees. So we'd take the customer's address, the address of the warehouse that their order was assigned to, and then calculate that distance. And then that way we can pass that information on to your shipping solutions to, so that they can calculate those shipping fees for you. Now I'll take you back over to the settings because we have a few other miscellaneous but exciting settings. Um, you can actually decide um, whether you want your customers to be able to order from two different locations at, within the same order. You can allow that, you can also block it, but if you do allow your customers to pick to order from two locations and have that order fulfilled from two warehouses or more, 
you can actually decide what happens with shipping. So do you want to charge shipping twice, one shipping fee for each warehouse, or do you want to split the shipping fees across the different locations? Again, it's up to you. Um, we can also disable automatic order routing if you want your customer to have control over the location that they're ordering from. This could be especially useful for people who have actual local pickup options. So when someone's doing a local pickup, it's more likely that they're going to want to actually choose the store that they're ordering from. But if they're having something shipped to them, then you might actually want to use the automatic order routing. I mentioned that you have the option to manage pricing on a per location level. You can also display inventory locations on the product page. Um, so those are a few of the options. So thank you so much for watching this video and learning a little bit more about the MyWorks WooCommerce multi-location inventory and order routing solution. I hope you found the demo useful and I do encourage you to schedule a live demo with us. We would be more than happy to talk to you about what you need and explore the solutions that we have for you. So feel free to schedule a demo or get in touch with us. We're always happy to help. Thanks and goodbye.